guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me today so today I'm coming on I'm going to use this it's called the paper tree a countryside story I bought this from the works for anybody that's in the UK it's really lovely you get gorgeous 8 by 8 paper pad really lovely lovely papers and then you get some die cut toppers to go with it so I thought I'd come on I've got time to just create three three cards this afternoon I've got a spare hour so I thought I'd work with this I've got some flowers I've got some nouveau drops so let's just see what we can make with this beautiful kit I'm only using these six by four cards the little scalloped edged ones let's just have a look what I want to use first one. they're only going to be nice clean and simple cards nothing complicated just three nice clean and simple cards I want to put together but I thought we could add some flowers and some nouveau drops as well so let's just cut my paper really not sure about this cutter at all I don't know whether I like it or I don't at the moment very different from the one I was using before so I'll just chop a little bit more off there okay yeah so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to cut some strips of paper uh, what do we want them to measure we want them to measure four so let's just and I'm going to cut them half an inch just have a look how many we need just to fit along the front of this card one. I think five should be enough. We'll do six and then we'll make sure we've got enough. I'm just cutting them at half an inch thickness, the little strips of paper. Let's pop that to one side for the moment. Okay, so let's just move these and then we keep a tidy desk. I've had a little, little tidy up on my desk so I can actually see what I'm working with at the moment. Okay, so let's stick this piece down first, but I'm just going to grab an ink. I uh, just want a nice light coloured one. I think we want something like, yeah, this one here. Tumbles glass. So I'm just going to grab a blending tool. this blending tool box out. I've got lots and lots of blending tools but the wrong colour. We'll have to use a new one. Okay, I really should stick them. They used to all have their own blending tools, my inks, and then they all got mixed up. I used to, you know, put Velcro at the bottom. I'm going to go back to doing that, I think, and then I know which everybody's got their own colouring, colour blending foam, should I say. So I'm just going to ink around this piece of card. I'm not going to tear it or anything. I'm just going to ink. Did I say tumble glass? This one is. Okay. So I'm going to do my card tenfold that way. I'm going to stick my paper down first. I think it's blocked. I don't know why because it's a new glue and I haven't left the lid off it. Let's just give it a little poke, see if that works. There we go. Okay, so we'll pop that piece on there. I'm going to leave it so we can see the scallops around the edge of the card. I'm just going to trim off from behind. And then I've cut these little strips of 
paper. I'm going to use some foam tape to stick these down with, just to strip down the centre. So I'm going to start from each end. Hope you're all okay. Keeping well. Okay, so I think we've got room for two more on the front of there. Yep, yeah, so let's just pop some more tape down. Are we all enjoying the gorgeous sunshine we're getting? Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It makes you feel so much better when the sun's shining. Well, I think it does anyway. It makes me feel much better when the sun's shining. Okay, so there we go. I've stuck those little strips down just on the front of the card. I'm just going to trim them off from behind. Okay, let's just pop that in the bin. Let's keep a tidy desk. <laughs> So we don't need that one and we don't need that one. We want a topper to go on the front. They're quite big, these toppers. Um, what have we got? I'm going to go with that one. And I'm just going to go with this best wishes here. So let's pop them over there for a moment. So I'm just going to use my ink and ink around this little topper. Again, I'm going to use some foam tape, actually, yes, I will. I'll use some foam tape to stick this down with. Okay, so we're just going to stick that little topper there. And then I've got the best wishes. I'm just going to trim these little bits of papers off that stay there when you know when you've popped them out of the die cuts you just get little sort of jaggedy edges just ink around this one okay and I'm going to stick the sentiment just at the bottom down there so let's just get some foam pads So we're going to sit that just there like that. Let's have a look what flowers I've got. I've got some of these spotty ones, but I don't think they'll go. No, I don't want those. Um, I've got my flowers here. Let's see if I can find some blue ones or cream ones even. They'd be nice. I've got blue there. Oh, here we are. Here's blue. Should we stick a couple of little flowers at the bottom as well? Get some of these, these ones here. I think these go quite nice. Not used these paper flowers in ages and they're beautiful, aren't they? Like I said, I'm on a mission to stash bust and to use my stash that I've got in my craft room. I think I'm just going to sit three little flowers there just at the bottom like that. I think that'll be just enough. Um, do I want to ink them? I don't think you'd really be able to see it anyway on those flowers. So let's just cut some foam tape, foam pads. So we'll stick one there. Okay, so there we go, there's my first card made, so we'll pop that to one side and we'll bring in a different one. Let's just get rid of this rubbish, keep our desk tidy, try to. Okay, so I've got my second piece. Right, let's choose some different paper this time and now I'll get my pad. 
Okay, what shall we go with this time? I think we're going to go with this one. I'm going to do my card that way. I'm going to have those flowers coming down the edge. So I'm going to rip this one. This piece, I might have to rip it a little bit more, I think. Off. I'm just going to tear across the bottom and tear just across the top a little bit. Okay, so let's just get my ink and we'll just ink around the edge of here. Okay, so I'm going to flat stick this down with some glue. down there like that and then I'm going to use another strip of paper just down this side I think I'm going to go with this one so how big do we need it I'm just going to stick that down there again I'm just going to use my ink We're just going to actually have not ripped, just rip this side a little bit, then it's all the same. I'm going to put that onto some foam tape. I think this paper pad is still available on the the works website. It was up until two days ago because I checked. Let's just grab a topper. Uh, which topper do we want? I want a blue one. What about this one? Everything in nature invites us to constantly to be what we are. So I'm just going to trim these little bits of paper off the sides. Um, what do I want to do? Feel like it's a little bit big let's just see if we can just tear around it a little bit without ripping the words off Yeah, that's a bit better. I like it a bit smaller. So let's just put some foam pads on there. So I'm just going to sit my sentiment to just there. And then do we want some flowers on there? What other colours have we got? I'm sure I had some white ones. Um, yeah, I've got some white flowers here. I think we'll have a couple of white flowers. And then we can put some Nouveau drops in the middle. And I've got that nice flower there. Yeah, I think we'll go with white on this card. So again, I'm just going to just going to ink around these a little bit while I've got the white ones, just the edges. down first in the middle okay and then I'll put this 
one at the bottom. Just grab another foam pad. Oops. Okay, so there we go. There's my second card. I will put some Nouveau drops on at the end. So we'll just pop that to one side again. And let's grab my third card. It's hiding under here. Just pop all this rubbish in the bin. Okay, so let's move on to our third card. So let's have a look what paper we can use for this one. We'll go with that one. Oh no, I've used that one, haven't I? Um, what about? No, I want to keep the blue. And then they repeat. I don't want to use green, I want to keep with the blue theme. Okay, so we'll just use that piece that we've got out. And I made here another piece. So I'm just going to cut this down the middle. I'm not bothered that it might not be straight. I'm going to stick that piece down first. of my card okay so we'll stick that piece down there just want to leave a bit of white so we'll just cut off from behind just make sure there's some glue at the bottom and then I want another piece to go down here let's have a look what we've got left have we got any of the white left I thought I had a strip of white. Oh, here we go. Yep, that one will fit just down the side of there. So I'm just going to tear this edge. How long do we need it? It's about there. So I'm going to pop some glue down. The ink around the white one. down there like that. Let's just trim from behind. Okay and then I'm going to put another piece across the front. I'll use this piece with the flowers on. Let's just rip down here. And I want it there. We'll stick it across the middle. some foam pads. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that that way. And then again, I'm going to use some flowers. I'm going to put quite a few on this one. Let's just take a couple out. I'm going to go around the bottom. That's ones of these little ones. Yeah, I think we'll just stick those little flowers down. So I'm just going to cut some small pieces of foam tape. Start with this big one. Oh, it's come off. That one down. Fiddly, fiddly. Okay, so you can sit there. I'll try and rip it off. It'll be quicker. And another one of those. want to stick on there. There we go. Okay, and we'll stick a couple of these little ones down. Tiny little flowers. I'm 
going to stick a couple more. I'm going to keep with this darker colour. Just making sure they've all got little diamantes in the middle. Oops, one more fingers and thumbs. Okay, so I think we'll leave those there and I think I might just stick a couple up at the top, just up here, just a few, keep with the darker ones. I've got tons of these that I want to use so I might as well stick some down and get some flowers used. They've been in my stash forever and ever, these paper flowers, I forget to use them. Okay, so I just want a little sentiment to sit on the front of here. Do I want to use one of these big ones or do I just want to use a small one? I think I just want a small one. I think I'm just going to go with this. Um, did I say birthday girl? No, I'm just going to go with this one. It says special friend. I'm just going to ink around it. I'll just pop some foam pads on here. Okay, so let's bring back in my cards and I'm going to put some new row drops on the front. I've chosen three colours here. I've got two shades of blue and a white, so let's just put a little bit of this on the front of our cards. show you so there's the first one and that one and that one okay then guys so there we go there's my card making for today as always thank you so much for stopping by to watch i'll leave all my details in my description please come along and join me if you're not already subscribed if you are don't forget to hit that little bell which will notify you when i've got any new uploads so until my next video guys thanks for watching take care bye